States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Orange from the back. Ms. Garza, roll call, please. Yes. Chairman Williams. Here. Vice Chairwoman Kiefer. Here. Mr. Albrecht. Here. Mr. Demeria. Here. Mr. Hanlon. Here. Mrs. Sieber. Here. Mrs. Williams. Here. Ms. Doan. Here. Mrs. Pudro. Here. Thank you very much, Ms. Garza. Are there any additions and corrections to the agenda? Yes, sir. Consent agenda, personnel, ratification of personnel. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Next on the agenda, superintendent's announcements and spotlights. And I believe we have one spotlight this evening. <coughs> Ms. Radford. Yes. Thank you, Chairman Williams. Uh, Dr. Newman, if you all would join us down front. Good evening, other members of the board uh, tonight. And also, good evening to everyone that has joined us this evening. I'm very honored to stand before you tonight to present our loan um, spotlight for the evening. This is the VSBA Media Honor Roll Recognition. Uh, each year, the Virginia School Boards Association gives local school boards the opportunity to publicly recognize reporters and local media outlets for the important role they play in public education. VSBA's Media Honor Roll recognizes the media in three categories, including print, radio, and television. Tonight, we would like to recognize Ms. Stephanie Williams, founder of the Panorama TV station located right here in Manassas. If you would come forward and stand with our group, we appreciate it. Ms. Williams has been an active force in the Latino, in Latino communities uh, for most of her life. She moved to Virginia in 1989 and immediately dedicated herself to assisting the Latino community in many ways but more broadly through the establishment of the only local Spanish language television program in the county. The program has run for nearly 20 years and covers topics such as health, fire prevention, law enforcement, immigration, and certainly education. For several years, uh, Ms. Williams has invited MCPS to be a part of her programming, and it's been our pleasure to assist her in sharing important information with our families. Panorama Latino um, airs on Comcast Channel 2 Friday nights at 8.30 p.m. and can also be viewed on YouTube. So we want to thank Ms. Williams for her efforts in getting to know our division's mission, mission and our goals and her willingness to share MCPS news and information with our community. I do have a certificate for Ms. Williams um, that says the Manassas City School Board recognizes your fair and balanced reporting on school division and education related um, topics. Your work has aided this community in focusing on the goal of providing the best public schools we can for the children who attend them. And that is presented on behalf of the Virginia School Boards Association. So thank you so much for all the work that you do. And I would like to say that, um, of course, no one can do what they do alone, typically. And Ms. Williams has asked for just a brief moment to recognize the group that helps her um, put the show on. So you can come forward with this. Yes. Good evening, Chairman Williams, Vice Chairwoman uh, Kiefer, uh, members of the school board, Superintendent Newman, ladies and gentlemen, I will just be a minute. Um, there are so many serious issues facing our youth today, bullying, depression, suicide, drug abuse, vaping, human trafficking, gang uh, recruitment. Um, if it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a team to save a child. And I would like to recognize tonight uh, my team um, who works along with me month after month, year after year, day after day. Suzanne Alvarez Prisgoda, our longtime co-host, Alan Beverstock here this evening, Ingrid Bass, Roberto Rolong, Jose Miguel Chavez, and Maria Kennedy, among others who have come and gone over the years. I would also like to recognize uh, Novak for uh, believing in us and sponsoring our show from the beginning, uh, almost 20 years ago, and Comcast Cable for giving us the technical support in the TV studio to do our work. Uh, as you mentioned, the show airs on Comcast Cable Channel 2 every Friday night, 8.30 p.m. 
uh, the show, the same show airs during the month. We also have the show on our Facebook page and on YouTube, so it has a much wider, um, much wider audience. Um, so I do thank you for this honor, and um, we do have a special segment that is geared to youth called Si Se Puede, Yes You Can. And that segment started to recognize outstanding academic achievement by students, primarily high school students. And we use them as role models. And for each student, we ask them two questions. Why is getting grades, good grades important to you? And the second question is, what advice do you have for other young people? And um, uh, we're just so proud of that segment, and it's so powerful. And we have expanded that segment with the help of Novec to include addressing issues um, that I mentioned a moment ago um, to help save lives among our youth. So um, we are very happy to continue representing all of the wonderful students and wonderful things happening at Manassas, um, Manassas City Schools. Um, we have, uh, we uh, conduct our show in Spanish, but we do make allowances for VIPs, such as Superintendent uh, Newman and other uh, important folks. And, um, and we, we hope that you will um, watch the show and spread the word. Y para gente que habla español, se ve Panorama Latino en el Canal 2 cada viernes a las ocho y media de la noche, o se puede ver Panorama Latino TV show en YouTube o en nuestra página Facebook. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. our spotlights for tonight, Jeremy. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mrs. Radford. Um, next item on the agenda are committee reports. Are there any committee reports? Looking to my left, yep, looking to my right. Cool. All right, next, board member comments. We will start this time with uh, Ms. Doan. Thank you. Despite this being our second meeting of the school year, things in the city schools are already comfortably setting down. The, the dinner program has reopened and is available to all Manassas City students on Mondays through Thursdays starting at 3.30 and ending at 5. Additionally, the Parent Teen Safe Driving presentation dates have been posted for all Osborne students who are in grades 10 or higher. Attending these presentations are necessary in obtaining a license. The first meeting is being held tonight, and I encourage all students who are looking to drive to attend the presentation along with their parents on the available dates. Lastly, as events and activities increase in our division, I would recommend downloading the MCPS mobile app, if you have not already, to keep track of the amazing things being done, as well as receive updates on day-to-day -day events within our schools. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Putro. The first few weeks of school have whizzed by our heads in a whirlwind of productivity, positivity, and new beginnings. Students have gotten into a comfortable routine with their classes, clubs, and have held their first interest meetings, and fall sports are underway. With only three weeks into the new school year, numerous events and programs at Manassas City Public Schools are already in full swing. To start off, the Manassas, City Principally, the Manassas City Public Schools Dinner Program has relaunched for the new year. Winning the 2019 Virginia School Board Association Food for Thought Award, the program offers free meals for all Manassas City Public School students 18 and under. The program is held at Osborne High School, Monday through Thursday from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. Menu offerings have been published on the MCPS NutriSlice menu site, and adults are welcome for only $3 per meal. In addition, Manassas City Public Schools are furthering their digital initiative by launching a new way to pay school fees, 
for field trips, yearbooks, library, book fees, and more. Using the My School Bucks website or a mobile app, parents can cover school fees digitally. Parents can visit their myschoolbucks.com and create a new account. Events and activities are in full motion in the Manassas Public Schools. Last Friday, September 6, families at Weems Elementary School joined their children to take part in their annual tradition of a Weems family picnic. Weems welcomed over 390 visitors, which consisted of both parents and their children. Parents joined student classes outside for the gathering. Families had the opportunity to converse with other children, the teacher, as well as with one another. Parents and students enjoyed special treats brought from home and their cafeteria's cheesy garlic bread. Even more, 70 additional school lunches were sold to parents that attended. The PTO kindly provided popsicles to all that attended the event. Thank you to the Weems Assistant Principal, Mrs. Fayborg, for the kind input and the information on the event. After months of planning, design, and hard work from the Baldwin PTO administration, Baldwin Elementary School is pleased to hold their official wall ribbon cutting ceremony on Thursday, September 26th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Baldwin welcomes parents and students as they celebrate the continuation of the special Baldwin tradition. Refreshments will be served, and members of the community will be speaking in honor of the event. Finally, Brown Elementary School is holding their school-wide book fair this week. This serves as an excellent opportunity for students to improve their reading stamina and comprehension skills. Book fair preview dates for students during school include December 13th, 16th, and 17th. Round elementary students may purchase books during the school day from September 18th to the 20th. Parents, students are welcome on September 20th from 2 to 7 p.m. in the library. A percentage of all proceeds will help purchase books and other materials for round. Additionally, volunteers are needed for the event. Please contact Mr. Simmons at jsimmons at mcpsva.org. The 2019 to 2020 school year has only begun to unfold. As the wheels turn and our train towards success speeds into motion, we see ourselves inside and look to the horizon to the great year to come. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Williams. Thank you, Mrs. Doan. Ms. Doan. Thank you, Mrs. Spujo. Um, great comments. Great um, information for everybody to know how great the school year has begun and all the many things that there are to do um, for the rest of the school year. I um, attended a Manassas City Public Education Foundation um, retreat Friday. We were there for several hours Friday morning discussing uh, many different topics. And I wanted to share with the board something I learned that day that was very, very interesting. Um, Micron, as we all know, is expanding here in the city. And clearly they had many decisions to make. They were debating staying here or, or relocating elsewhere. Um, as they were doing their negotiations with the state, the city, they came to uh, one of our board members, Susanna, and asked, okay, we need to hire 30 technicians a month for the next six months. That is our, one of our biggest needs. We can get engineers, not a problem. Do you think this area can support that need? Do you think this area, Manassas City Public School students, along with many Prince William County students, have the aptitude to fill these positions? And she, because she's on this board and she knows how much that we as a system do, that, they, that Micron does to help students in innovation and innovative projects, she just said absolutely yes. So I just felt like it was really important that you all know that our students do play a role in these huge, huge decisions. And I'm very excited that Micron decided to stay here in Manassas. That's all I have tonight. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Uh, Ms. Seberg. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, tonight I wanted to share a reminder that Manassas City Public Schools has several advisory committees that parents in the community are welcome to participate on. Each committee is a little bit different, but each one is where parents and community members can come together, share valuable insight, and work with staff to promote efforts and help develop programs that benefit our students. If you have an interest in a particular area or a passion for advocacy, please consider attending. All meetings are open. Next week, the Special Education Advisory Committee will be meeting. It's Wednesday, September 11th at 6 p.m central office on the fourth floor conference room. The Gifted and Talented Advisory Committee will be meeting on Monday, September 23rd at 6.30 p.m. at METS. The ESOL Committee and CTE Committee schedules will be posted soon. 
And you can find more information about these committees under their corresponding department page on mcpsva.org. A reminder that next week, parent-teacher conferences will be held for all schools on Thursday and Friday. This is a great time to connect with your students' teachers and to find out what's going great, where they may need some extra help, and how to get it. Sometimes this 15-minute conference can be exactly what you need to be informed and what your student needs to achieve full academic potential. So please take advantage of it. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sieber. Uh, Mr. O'Hanlon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, congratulations to Stephanie Williams of Panorama TV, and thank you for all you do for our community. It's outstanding. I just want to read a brief excerpt from the welcome back message that the school board prepared um, for back to school nights. For parents, I just want to remind you that you are a very important part of your child's education and to work with your child. Help them do their homework. Help them if they need help. If you can't find help, find a friend who can. Become a volunteer in their schools. Join the PTA and PTO. Attend field trips. Become a classroom parent. And anything else that shows your, your child that education is important to you. And your children, please help them get involved in the schools in any extracurricular activity they can. The more they're involved, the better they will do academically. Encourage your child to join a team, a club, band, orchestra, chorus, or any of events after school. And that helps them become much more engaged in their education. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hanlon. Uh, Mr. DeMaria. Thank you, sir. Um, come out and support our sports and our arts and all the things going on. Football team is uh, Friday at Colgan, and I'm not going to make it, so somebody needs to pick up a slack for me. Um, last week, I helped Mrs. Williams. I carried in some dinner that she prepared for the JV team. Uh, she's a parent. That's what parents do. Um, two great big bins of spaghetti and salad, and the kids actually took the salad. I was impressed. Uh, but what I was most impressed about was, I don't know how many, half of the kids at least, every time they served themselves, they turned to Mrs. Williams and said, thank you for making dinner for us. There was no coach there telling them to do that. Um, we got great kids. And just standing there watching them and the way they conducted themselves and, and the um, uh, uh, field, hockey talk, field hockey team next to them, the way they conducted themselves, I'm very proud of our kids and I'm very proud of Mrs. Williams for making all that spaghetti. <laughs> Um, at the football game last Friday, there was a little scuffle after the game. I need to commend the police and the work they did and, and the way they handled themselves to make it into nothing. Um, it could have blown up into something big, but it didn't because our police department was there doing their job and taking care of our kids. And I, I commend our police department. Um, Mr. Leroy Williams is here tonight, president of our MEA. We appreciate you being here supporting our staff. Um, and the most important thing tonight, I've got my reverse raffle tickets. Anybody, all the thousands of people watching on TV, there's other alumni selling these, but you need to buy them from me because they gave me a whole bunch of them to sell. So it's $100 a piece. You got yours? Um, and dinner for two. Open bar, great time, and a one in 300 chance of winning $10,000. So contact me if you want to buy a ticket. Um, and that's all I got, brother. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you, Steve. Uh, Mr. Albrecht. Uh, thank you. And I really want to reinforce Mrs. Williams' point about schools and the community because that exact decision the largest employer in the city of Manassas made, the largest contributor to the tax base in the city of Manassas made, demonstrates what everyone knows, that education matters and education directly contributes to the value of a community and to the ability to attract economic development. Unfortunately, too many elected officials support education but don't want to pay for it. I do want to say happy back to school to everybody 
and actually thank the General Assembly publicly as many times as I have for finally eliminating a stupid law and allowing local school divisions to start when the locality believes it makes sense. Thank you. Thank you, sir. How do they feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Keeper. Well, I'll be quick because everybody was so comprehensive tonight, but I wanted to kind of go along the um, idea of community and the importance of community and relationships um, with the schools. Um, Mr. Albrecht and I sit on the joint board of the Governor's School at Innovation Park at George Mason. Um, this year we are the, what do they call us, the supervising school district or yes. something. Um, and so Dr. Newman and I were there last week. And I just wanted, I think storytelling is the best way to talk about what we do. And if you kind of talk about it as a real child uh, versus a bunch of them, because as we know, everybody has different circumstances and situations within which they're dealing or in which they're learning and, and obstacles along the way. Um, they brought in four children um, from Prince William, and we had one from Manassas City, Juan, who represented us so well. And when he told his story about his experience, and for those of you who don't know what Governor's School is, it's really simple. I'll simply put it and probably get it all wrong, but it's about putting kids in a university-based setting to do science, technology, engineering, and math, sort of an integrated STEM program. But they have research opportunities. They have exposure to um, magnificent resources. And they're kids that are really driven. I mean, these they come and they talk about their projects, and we just sit there and look at them and have no idea what they're talking about. We just nod our heads. But Juan talked about not just the opportunities he was given from the academic point of view, but the soft skills these kids are learning, um, which I know we're trying to teach in our schools as well, were amazing. The way they presented themselves, the way they talked about how they do this because of their time management. They have to time manage or else you can't survive such a, a rigorous program. Um, and you know, you could tell they were getting antsy as we were asking questions because we were throwing them off of their schedule um, to get back to you know eight and nine. Between eight and nine, I do this, that, and the other thing. Um, but he really represented us, I think, very well. Um, it just showed that um, the holistic kid is what matters here. And so, whatever opportunities, I just wanted to use one as just one of the many stories we tell because. These are the stories we need to talk about. This is a partnership between Prince William, Manassas City, Manassas Park, and George Mason University. This is our community. It's our broad community. It's partnerships. And it's allowing kids to decide and, and apply for things that are really applicable um, to where they are at. And so we have to meet them where, we, where they are. And I just want folks to remember that. And Juan is just one shining example of the kids we have here. And I just want us to keep telling these stories. So thank you. Thank you, Ms. Keeper. And then I'll be brief first. I believe because I saw on the beautiful sign that I passed Mets today, there's a back to school night tomorrow at 6. So all you Mets parents and families, back to school night tomorrow. Um, and just a general comment, um, I haven't been on the board as long as Mr. Albrecht. Uh, none of us have. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I knew he'd say that. Uh, but um, since I have been on the board, one thing I've noticed um, this year especially, that there's a different spirit um, in our school system. I've heard that from parents, from teachers, from students, um, maybe even administrators, at least one administrator. Um, there seems to be, uh, not that there hasn't been positive energy before, but a really concerted positive effort of growing in the right direction and um, working together. It reminds me, I know in business school, one thing that I learned in my marketing class, one of my first marketing classes, was that successful enterprises aren't just successful because they make money, but they start off with a positive culture. And everywhere I go, whether it's watching field hockey games, football games, volleyball games, um, watching choirs, watching the incredible band, um, going to elementary schools, Jenny Dean with their new, their new house system. There's so many positive things going on. So I want to let the community know there is a positive movement, movement in our school system. You may not hear about it, or you may not feel it unless you go into it and see them, but I'm really proud of our staff, especially because you all set the tone. So I thank you for what you're doing in our system, and hopefully we can help you uh, keep that up. And that's all I have to say this evening. Um, next on the agenda is citizens' comments. And there's no one signed up. And I don't think we have anyone in the audience unless one of our doctors over here want to speak. <laughs> no? <laughs> OK. Uh, on to the consent agenda. May I have a motion, please? Mr. Chair, I move that the city of the <clears throat> school board of Manassas, the school board of the city of Manassas <laughs> approve the consent agenda as modified. 
Second. Motion by Mrs. Keeper, second by Mr. O'Hanlon, the School Board of the City of Manassas, approve the consent agenda is modified. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it, 7-0. It's approved. And we have one item on the discussion agenda, personnel, SY1920 staffing update, Ms. Billy K. Wingfield. Good evening. Tonight I'd like to share with you our current instructional openings in the division. At the present time, we have a total of eight instructional vacancies. Last year at this time, we had 9.2. We currently have three instructional openings at the elementary level. At Dean, we have a pre-K VPI blended teacher, a special education teacher opening at Hayden, and a pre-K through four math coach at Weems. Ray Singletary, our math content specialist, is covering any needs required for the pre-K math coach. At the intermediate level, we have the sixth grade teacher opening at Mayfield. At the present time, we have three instructional openings at METS, two English teachers and a STEM teacher. Osborne has an opening for a project lead the way. In several cases throughout the division, we have long-term substitutes that are providing instruction are working on licensure eligibility. We hope to have them hired as a licensed teacher in the very near future. Our other instructional positions continue to be posted and we're actively screening applicants and interviewing. Do you have any questions? Mr. Mary, no questions? No, I'm good. The baseball game tonight? Yes, yeah, another game. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, so, so we have time, okay. Thank you. Mr. Albert. Ms. Wingfield, I mean, this, off the top of my memory, this seems like a really good number compared to some past years, mm -hmm. and yet we're in a, a national teacher shortage. Am I recalling reasonably correctly? And if so, congratulations and whatever we're doing well, let's keep it up. Okay. She's smiling. It must be like a good number. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I, it's, it's not a bad number. <laughs> <laughs> not the number, <laughs> zero, but it's a very good number. Any other comments? No. Wow. Um, one thing I will say, um, though, I think in terms of the number of teachers, just anecdotally talking to folks who are in our kids' age group, um, Manassas is becoming um, a viable destination for a lot of folks to move to, especially the teachers. Um, not only because of stuff like Micron, but the things we do in Old Town in our community mm -hmm. generally. So I think that helps. And I think also, from at least one teacher who we hired, um, the excitement and enthusiasm they feel when they come to our school system has definitely helped. Um, so um, whatever you're doing, keep it up. Thank you. I guess that's it. So nice one. <laughs> may have a motion. Move to adjourn. Second. Motion by Mr. Demaria, second by Mrs. Keeper, that we adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? We are adjourned. Have a nice evening. <laughs>